Hello everyone and welcome to this lesson where you will learn how to create your first Python script and run it from the command line interface from your Windows PowerShell as well as running the code from your Visual Studio code. So let's get started. So over here I will right click and create a new file. So I will right click and create new text document and I'm going to name it as first code and I will change the extension from txt to py which is the extension name for the Python file. It will ask to rename, click yes and now you can see that the icon has changed to the python icon. So right click on it and using the notepad plus plus I will then open this document. So over here let's type print parenthesis hello code in peace. So this line is going to print hello code in peace on the output when it will be executed. Next we want to print the output of 3 plus 5 which will be 8. And then let's print 15 minus 5, which will be 10. So just save this file and now open up the command line interface terminal, which will be the PowerShell. Over here, you can see that as of now, the current path is users and code in piece. So I will change it using the cd command to Python course. And then I will write down Python followed by the file name first code.py and here you can see that we get the output. So if I just open up and do a comparison. So here you can see this is the output 10 which is for the third line. Then we have 8 as output and then we have the hello code in piece. Now let's go ahead and run this same code file from the Visual Studio code. So here I am in my Visual Studio code. I will click on open file and go to the same directory in the D drive. And when you open up the code for the first time from any directory, it will ask you, do you trust this file or not? So I will click on open. And here you can see that the file have appeared. So I just click on run code. Since we have installed code runner and the Python already. So here you can see it gives the output, the same output that we got previously. And it also tells you the execution time for the code as well. Now I'm going to the terminal and going to execute the same file. So you can also use the terminal option in the Visual Studio code as well. Please make sure that your current directory is always the same where your code resides. Otherwise it, you are going to end up with errors. In my case, it is already the same, but if in your case, if it shows any other directory, please make sure that you are in the same directory as of the code. So you can actually do it by using the CD command just to make sure which version of Python do we have installed. So I will just write down Python dash dash version. And over here you can see we have the same version installed. And then what I'm going to do is I'm write down Python. And as soon as you click on tab, it will automatically fetch you the file name in the present directory, which contains .py. So you don't need to write the file name all the time and hit enter. So here you can see you get the output, hello code in peace, eight and then 10, which corresponds to the three code lines that we have in our code. So this is how you can create a Python file and execute it using the command line or using a terminal or using direct Visual Studio Code interface. Don't worry for now if you do not understand what the coding syntax looks like because we're going to cover each and every bit of Python syntax and concepts in very detail.